Hello, I'm Brandy from Stampin' Up! I'm excited to share a fun and simple way to add dimension to your projects. It's called the Eclipse Technique. To do this technique, you want to have two layers of paper. One easy way is to use a sheet of designer series paper for one layer and a strong coordinating color for the other layer. Next, you'll just choose one of the layers that you want to have on top. I'll pick the patterned layer. Then, you're going to choose the top layer and cut a shape from it. It could be anything, even just a punched shape, but your Big Shot will really be your friend with this technique because it will open up tons of fun possibilities for cutting a shape from any part of the project. So I've chosen a heart framelit from our sweet and sassy framelit set. So here's what I've got now. See, my heart's all cut out from this layer. Next, I'm going to adhere these two layers together. So I'll just use a nice strong adhesive. And we'll glue this right on top. For this one, I left a tiny little edge of my rich Razzleberry paper showing. You wouldn't have to do that. Either way is great. The next thing is you'll take that shape and you're going to pop it up over the center of the heart. So I'll just use a couple of our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll go ahead and use three of them. And then as I'm deciding how to position this, I could offset it a little bit or even a lot, but this is where the name comes in. If you wanna make it a total eclipse of the heart, you're going to layer it exactly over your punched shape, just like that. Some different variations on this technique involve popping that piece up higher or not as much. So on this one, I've got a double layer of dimensionals there to give it a really deep set heart. Here's one where I've done some stamping on the top so it doesn't have to be a piece of patterned paper. And then here's one where I have offset it just a little bit so you can see a little bit of that sparkle behind. You can even layer some extra cardstock pieces underneath your punched piece to make it extra sturdy. That works really well for a home decor piece such as this. So on each of these letters, I've stacked a little extra cardstock under here before I pop those letters up, and that makes this really sturdy so it can be on the wall for years to come. The Eclipse Technique is a really fun way to create some extra interest on your projects. For this one, it actually says the word home here, but look at how subtle that ends up. At first you just see the word welcome, and then the recipient will be delighted when they realize it says home there in that little neighborhood. What a perfect way to welcome someone to their new home. Here's one last peek at all of our fun Eclipse Technique samples. I hope you'll have a lot of fun playing with this technique. To purchase all the supplies you need for your next crafting project, contact your local Stampin' Up! demonstrator or visit stampinup.com. Happy stampin'!